Alright, y'all ready to give this thing a test run, see if it's going to run? So, um, I had an issue with an air leak. There's still a little bit of air leaking around this intake gasket that I sort of made. It'd be pretty easy to fix that. I just need to get some RTV. Um, you know, Lowe's does not carry RTV. So, we're going to hook some air to that and see what happens. So, I got the regulator set on uh, about 30 pounds right now. Let's drop it down. Okay, that's about 25 pounds. What is that? Oh. Okay, it's 20 psi right there. time is just a little bit off and there's still some uh, plus there's a leak in this manifold we have to figure out something different with that uh, actually I could just use that water weld yeah I think it's off like a tooth or maybe two um, here's the thing about air compression engines or steam engines uh, there is this thing is having to push and exhaust out so the valve is closing there's no air going in and it's having to take the weight or the inertia of the movement to push that air out which is going to slow it down so at the time it might be perfectly fine I'm still going to tinker with it a little bit but um, what would be great <clears throat> is if it was dual action now a dual action is you have your piston and steam enters in on this side and pushes the piston that way okay and then inertia would bring it back and that's a single actor piston because then another valve would open and push the exhaust out. So then you have this motion, but you have something that's opening and closing the valve, the exhaust. Now, the way that they designed the locomotives is you had steam that pushed in here and would push this piston this way. But this would open a valve on this side and it would push out. Now, once it got to a certain point, another valve would open and steam would enter this way and push the piston back that way and open a valve over here for exhaust. So every stroke was a constant power stroke. There was always power being produced in each stroke. With this, the piston comes up and forces the air out and then the air pushes it back down and then it rotates around and it has enough movement in it to push this air back out when the valve opens up. So it pushes that air out and then it opens that valve back up. So it's just basically a single action is all it is um two cycle it's not a uniflow i think is what they call those uh but that'd be awesome if i could if we could figure out how to make one of those that'd be great um but this thing so what we've got to figure out is how much pressure we're pushing on each downstroke now at <clears throat> 40 pounds per PSI, pounds per square inch, I would need to find a surface area of that in square inches so that I could tell you. So for every square inch, which is, you know, not much, but um, for every square inch, 40 pounds is pushing against it. So, you know, if it's only three square inches, which I'm sure it's more, uh, you're looking at, what, 60 pounds, 20 pounds PSI, you're looking at 60 pounds of, of pressure being pushed down. So... It's, uh, it's, it's 
maybe something we can do something with. But I'm going to need a compressor that will actually run it. Unless I can push out of this exhaust, and I don't know how much pressure it's going to be pushing, but push it back in the tank. But it would have to be... Oh, that would be... Uh, hmm. That'd be tricky, but oh, let's go back at it. All right, it does not want to run at 20 pounds. It might if I get that leak stopped. Let's crank it up a little bit more. Let's say about 20. Oh, oh, that's too much. Okay, there's about 30 pounds pressure. That's it. At least get worse. That's 30 pounds of pressure. I'm sorry. Let it run at 30 pounds of pressure. It says it's sitting at 50 psi. It is running at actually 30. And it drops down to 25 and runs to 30. Alright, I just cranked that regulator. We're going to let it catch up and then we're going to shoot it with some high pressure and see exactly what it'll do. Alright, so here we go at about 82 psi. Self start. got it running I still may play with it a little bit I got to get this air leak stopped here and um, I'm gonna play with the timing a little bit I'm gonna shift it a tooth one way or the other and see if it gets better or gets any worse if I can get it to operate on the lower temp uh, PSI that'd be great but it could be still fighting some resistance where the valves ain't quite opening right so we'll play with the timing otherwise I've got a reason to buy a new compressor but anyhow, so that's uh, that's basically it. And listen, this thing actually will run better once we get some type of a flywheel mounted on this part. And it's got some weight, and that weight will help move those around. Um, so that weight will in turn have a hammer on it, or will drive a hammer up and down. So that's uh, that's the idea right now, guys. We're going to see how this goes. I gotta stop using guys. I think there might be some girls that actually watch this channel. I don't know. I, I know there is, as a matter of fact. I know 100% there is. So, there you go, guys. That's, uh, there you go. There's, a, there's another one. Another one bites the dust, right? Uh, next, we just gotta figure out a hammer. How to make it a hammer. I gotta tweak it. Alright, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. You guys take care. And, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.